The census population was taken on the night of Sunday, April 10th, 2011, and on that night, every household in Ireland completed their census form. Since then, the CSO has been spending its time scanning, checking and analysing the information provided in over 1.6 million completed census forms. Today, we released the first set of results from Census 2011. For the 2011 census results, CSO are adopting a different publication style from previous censuses. As well as publishing tables of data, we are including commentary about the results, accompanied by graphs and maps to illustrate the data. Well, today's report, the first definitive results from the 2011 census, shows the total population of 4588252, an increase of just under 350,000 since 2006, or 8.2%. Um, the report contains results across a vast range of areas, nationality, birthplace, religion, renting. So, for example, we see the, number, uh, the total number of non-Irish nationals increasing from 422,000 to 544,000. We can see the number of Polish people in, uh, increased from 63,000 to 122,000. Um, uh, as regards the age of the population, the number of men aged 65 and over has increased by 17%, whereas the number of women has increased by 12%, so reflecting a narrowing of the gap in life expectancy among men, men and women. Um, there's interesting results on religion. Ireland is still a predominantly Catholic country. We see 84% of the population reporting themselves as Catholic, but we also see large increases in the non-Catholic religions, such as Church of Ireland, Orthodox, Muslim, um, just under 50,000 Muslims in Ireland um, less than a year ago, so by far the most important non-Christian religion. But then also very interesting results on those with no religion, just under uh, 270,000 people reported having no religion at the time of the census. And then interesting figures on the total housing stock, um, maybe not so interesting, 1.65 million, but the numbers renting 475,000 households. Are today's report is the first of two highlight reports. Uh, the second one will come out in June and will cover the socio-economic variables, education and skills and health related topics. But we will have a report out every three to four weeks for the next 12 months. So loads of data for people to chew over. And, uh, and so it's a key into. strategic goal of the Central Statistics Office to increase awareness and the effective use of statistics. And so uh, today's report reflects that in the increase in the number of colourful graphics, maps and if you like getting behind the, the figures to, to find out what's interesting about Ireland today and to make the data more presentable and accessible uh, to the general Irish public and we also have developed a cooperation with the All Ireland Research Observatory so all the figures in today's report are available on, in thematic maps um, on the ARO website people can just follow the link from the CSO website. The Central Statistics Office would like to thank you for completing your census form the information provided has been extremely useful and hopefully will inform decision makers which will impact on both you and your families in the coming years. Thank you.